Athens, Texas may be a small town, but there's some great places to eat. We have a bunch of local spots, and I thought today, you know, a month ago I did my top five, you know, favorite things about living in this city. Well, guess what? Today we're gonna do five places that I love to eat because there are some great local spots, and so we're gonna check them out. We're gonna start off with my favorite place to eat in town. And you can have your favorite, you know, and that's okay. But my favorite place to eat in town is Railway Cafe. Justin Boswell is this awesome local guy and him and Deanne have started this place, Railway Cafe. It is only open at lunch. Uh, but Justin let me come and check it out and spend some time in the kitchen with him. Uh, so let's check that out. Everybody say hi to Justin. Hey guys, how are y'all? You're the best cook in Athens. How does that feel? You're very kind. Tell us about your place, man. Uh, we're at lunch, 11 to 2, Monday through Friday. We also do catering some private parties. Uh, yeah, we love to cook, so come on in and enjoy some food with us, please. It's awesome. What's your favorite thing about Athens, Texas? My favorite thing is the people. Everybody's super nice. Uh, we just love living here, we love working here, it's a good place. Come on, join us, please. Love it. Railway Cafe, you can't beat that place. It's got such a cool vibe, cool owners, great servers that hang out and talk to you, and just are local folks. It's a great place to eat, only during the week though. Next spot we're gonna talk about is um, not really a spot you go, but you go to pick up. And it's Doughball's Pizza. The best pizza in Athens. This is my buddy Chet. Hey, how you doing? Buddy via pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, tell us a little bit about this. Doughball's Pizza, man. Well, I started because um, I used to drive to Dallas to get my favorite pizza place, Conoroso, in Deep Ellum. Oh, yeah. And uh, literally me and the kids would go out there almost every week or every two weeks and I just said, you know what, there's gotta be a better way for me to make pizzas at home. And so my friend in Oregon used to post pizzas, uh, pictures of his pizzas that he made all the time. So I was like, if he could do it, I could do it. So I got on YouTube and started looking at videos. Literally, I spent uh, six months just getting videos and trying different recipes and just trying to figure out what's gonna work for me in my home oven. And I finally got it down and then I got a pizza stone that went to, I got a little Blackstone pizza oven and I was cooking out of that and from that I got this. And Rad, so, man. I mean, I still go to Dallas. I still go to Conor Rosso. I still go to Zoli's because those are my favorite pizza places. Great, great pizza. But every now and then, I mean, I don't want to drive so we'll make pizzas and once it started hitting Facebook, all the pictures started showing yeah. up. People are like, hey, can you make me a pizza? Can you make me a pizza? I'm like, okay. And that's when I started Doughball's Pizza Company. Chet has this amazing oven. He cooks pizza, but you have to go on Facebook and find it like right when he posts. He'll like post on Facebook like making pizzas, taking first 20 orders, and if you're not, if you don't comment in the first like 15 minutes, forget about it. If you get a chance, go find his Facebook uh, page. I'll put a link in it below. Um, go get some pizza if you can get lucky enough to get some pizza. Reach out to him, he's a great guy, a lot of fun, and make some amazing pizza. It's time for me to be honest about something. I love to eat crawfish. I don't know if living here has made me love it more. I think it has, but mud bugs, as we call them here, are amazing. It's one of my favorite things to eat, and we have this new place in town. It's called Wawa's. Check it out. They have some awesome mud bugs, as well as some fish and some other stuff, but I, I come for the shrimp and the mud bugs all day. Check this place out. Man, it honestly kind of started as a weekend deal. Everybody had their regular jobs and stuff and uh, kind of started growing. And uh, actually the second year we were open, my dad sold his first business, put it all in here. Turned out doing really well. Well, the third year, actually, 
quit working power lines and bought in here and it just kind of turned into something we really didn't expect. So how does this work? Well, we see a lot of people struggling, but the very best way to do it and the quickest, most efficient, just take that tail right there, pinch it, kind of twist. And what you do is stick your thumb right at the back. Just barely grab it with your teeth, pull and squeeze at the same time. It feels like that. You can't live in Texas and not love some Mexican food. So we've got some really great spots in Athens. We got a bunch of them and they're all really good, but I'm gonna tell you about a couple of my favorites, okay? Number one for me, Mexican food in Athens, Texas is Jalisco's Tucky I judge most places on their salsa and I love the salsa and chips at Jalisco's. And not to mention they have a lunch special and we hit that up all the time. It's only $6.99 and you get Plenty of food and a drink, $6.99 you're out the door. Uh, it's one of my wife's favorite places to go, it's my favorite place to go. Our church staff, we love to go there and eat. My favorite day um, is Thursday because they have the Burrito Jalisco, which is like so good. Another spot that's really great for lunch and you wouldn't just like drive up to it and go, oh, this is gonna be good, but it's actually Del Norte, okay? You go into this supermarket and they've got food you can buy, you know, like a grocery store. They've got produce and they've got meats and they've got all this Mexican meat market sort of thing going on. But the secret sauce of this place is the authentic Mexican food. It's awesome. You go in there, you order some tacos or you get, you know, a torta. All so amazing and really affordable. So hit up Del Norte. This place is awesome. Hey, so that's the end of this one, but if you wanna watch, you know, the vlog about Athens, Texas top five, why don't you click right over there? It's gonna be right there. If you wanna watch my last vlog, click up here, and please hit that subscribe button. Uh, thanks for joining me today. This is Athens, Texas top five. We'll see you on the next one.